stage was to include some dunes that were well over 100 metres high, but out there on the flat, the reigning champion from Italy, Fabrizio Mioni, was so lucky at times. He just went as fast as possible through the set or through the first part of the stage, although the second half was really not to the V-Twins' liking. Mioni getting out of the seat a second time. He was really absolutely on the stops with regards to the throttle. He was the victor of the stage by some 13 minutes over everybody else. Just look at the speed of that V-Twin. He could not make it go any quicker. Remember that he was over 40 minutes down a few days ago, and now in the overall standings, he's a mere 16 minutes back of the overall leader. He had to go flat out today. It's the last really long day in the desert, but can he afford to take those risks again in the remaining four days? He must be ruining that engine problem some days back when he came into Saria. Maybe. Without those problems, he could be leading overall, but say la vie. Through the passes came Mioni, and so did Richard Sankt. Sankt continues to lead the overall in the overall standings by a mere 11 minutes over Cyril Dupre. Mioni in third position overall. But Richard Sankt was very, very lucky indeed. Remember yesterday he had a tumble and he only grazed his thumb. Today, though, just before the refueling point, he had another big fright, this time mechanical. The fuel was not feeding through from the rear tanks to the engine, just and 10 kilometers out, he was lucky. He says here about 10 kilometers ago, the fuel line between the two tanks was faulty. I lost some time to try and fix it, and in the end it was okay, but it certainly could have been worse. I can only hope that it's my last problem. He's going to have to keep his fingers crossed. Because out there in the middle of nowhere, there's nobody to help you except yourself. Sankt must be counting down those miles, counting down the kilometers, counting down the meters. What about Cyril Dupre? He's the man in second overall and the man between Sankt and Mioni. He maxed it out today at 107 miles an hour. Dupre today, third on the stage. Only 14 seconds back of Sankt. On board with Christophe Mayon. Now, he was the guy who fell on that first African stage into Tunisia when the whole bike turned around on itself. On board, he says, today, we're on a very quick stage, doing about 150 kilometers an hour. That's 94 miles an hour. It's very hard for us to look around at the view. On the flat stuff, though, we have a chance to look around. Mayon today, 29th over the stage. Jean Brucey, fourth on the stage today, fourth in the overall standings. The last of the real KTM riders are up there because Mark Coma has lost an hour today with a tyre problem. Little Francois Flick, fifth on the stage today, and just outside the top 10 in 11th position. Jean de Azevedo from Brazil, sixth position for him on the stage today, the plucky Brazilian, fifth position in the overall standings. But it was P.G. Lundmark and Jean Brucey whom he teamed up with. P.G. Lundmark fell a couple of times today. He jokingly said at the stage finish, I saw a, a, uh, some money on the floor and I decided to jump for it. Now he has taken sixth overall and is now the leading privateer. That's PG. Giovanni Sala, victor yesterday, still not very well. He's quite ill, although he's feeling a little better. Ninth on the stage today, Spain's Pelisa. And he's 13th overall. And from Chile, Carlo de Gavardo, the number five machine. Now, he has swapped places with PG in the overall standings. He's now seventh. Mioni the victor today. Look, 13 minutes he's taken out of Richard Sankt. Dupre a mere 14 seconds back. Brucey and Francois Flick. A 
the overall standings. Look how close it is. Sank from Dupre, Mione chasing hard.